So now in this video, we'll talk about try with resources. Now, if you look at this code here, I mean, we have return try and then with try, either we need catch or we need finally, right? Example, if I remove catch, it will work because we do have finally with that. But if I remove finally, you can see try is not working, right? Try says either it needs a finally block or a catch block. So let's talk about finally. Let's let's say we are not using try. We are we are not using a catch block because our intention here is not to handle the exception. Our intention here is just to close the resource. So when you say a try block for this code, here we are not handling the exception. Our only focus here is to close the resources. So just to close the resources, even if you get an exception here, it will make sure that your resource is getting closed. If I print something, if I say closed. And if I run this code, and if I say some weird number, you can see even if you are getting an exception, it is saying close. That means it is closing your resources and that it will it is giving you some exception. The thing is, when you talk about uh, try and finally block here, it is only to close the resource, right? So in the new version of Java, which is 1.7, it is not compulsory for you to write finally block. What you can do is, uh, instead of using this syntax, what you can do is inside try block, you can give around brackets and you can define this object there itself. Now, wh what is the advantage of this is, in fact, you have to also mention before reader. Now, if you do this there, you don't have to use final block. So as soon as your object goes out of scope, it will close the resource automatically. So as soon as your object has done its work, it will close this resource. Even if you're getting an exception here, it will close the resource automatically. Okay, so if I run, if I say, 97 we got the output so we can write a try block without using a catch block or without using a final block we can do this with the help of this syntax and this syntax is called as try with resource so yeah that's it about this video we have seen how to use try with resource in the next video we'll talk about try to create our own exception